basically a student satellite where, where uh, we friends came together we found this is workable we can make a satellite and we formed a team and we approached the colleges and we approached ISRO uh, we convinced both of them and that's how we started the initial phase of the project we had uh, um, plenty of co concepts to develop a satellite so all we thought is if we have another two years with us so uh, of course we should complete uh, our entire satellite within this two years so we kept all, uh, the entire system very simple It is basically a Pico satellite, a satellite which is uh, less than uh, 1 kg in weight and dimension of uh, 10 cross 10 cross 10 centimeters. So we have to incorporate all the necessities or the requirements of a satellite into the, uh, this CubeSat, uh, CubeSat, uh, the standards. The major payload here is the camera, uh, which will be taking uh, images of around 90 meter resolution. These images will be used for uh, any remote sensing applications. Initially, uh, I thought it was something that a normal person cannot uh, uh, I mean, even dream of doing a satellite. But then after I started working into it, it I understood that it, it is not uh, very difficult to build a satellite by uh, um, a, a student, a B student. So that actually fascinated me. It was like uh, this whole area was not exposed to the student community of uh, satellite communication and all those. The whole idea is that even though it may not be a highly sophisticated operational satellite system, but they get involved in the entire methodology, the, the rigor and the type of testing that is required, the, the uh, technology as well as the science of the whole system. And it certainly will give them a tremendous amount of training.